This man spends a good bit of the weekend baking bread. Sourdough bread, to be precise. Sourdough is left over a night in the fridge to ferment and proof and so on. It's proofing, it's a slow proof in the fridge, so when it comes out then it should have spent a lot of time proofing without overproofing because the proofing process is slowed down when it's in the fridge. This is a particularly sticky dough and unfortunately I have made an absolutely catastrophic mistake because I forgot to put the paper, the parchment paper underneath which is going to cause me great difficulty in getting that bread into the Dutch oven. So I slice it or I slash it rather first and this allows the oven spring to kick in when the bread is placed in the Dutch oven and then placed in the oven itself and when the heat hits it it allows it to expand and gives you good oven spring. This is my Le Creuset dish which I use. It seals in the bread and it seals in the moisture. When the heat hits it, it's kept in, it's retained. But my difficulty here is getting the bloody bread into the Le Creuset. I managed to do it and now I'm putting it in the oven. I'm going to give it 30 minutes at 250 and then I'm going to give it 15 minutes with the lid off at about 200. So what's it going to be like? It might look rough, but it's okay. It's a good honest loaf. It's not the perfect shape by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, aesthetically, it's not all that pleasing. But it'll do, and it'll be perfectly edible. It'll be nice sourdough bread. And that one is made from a particular recipe from a book by a man called Ken Forkish. This is a different one. This is a rye sourdough bread. This one has nuts in it, walnuts and olives, green olives, because I ran out of black olives. This time I didn't forget the paper. Because I didn't forget the paper, it's going to make it a lot easier to put the bread, to put the dough into the saucer and into the Le Creuset. But first, first I must slash it and allow it then to expand and have good oven spring when it actually hits the air and hits the heat in the oven, which is preheating at 250 degrees. So the oven is preheated, the Le Creuset dish is preheated, and now I'm going to place the dough in the dish, in the Le Creuset, and give it the 30 minutes at 250, and then 15 minutes with the lid off at 200. And the best part, the best part is always when you take the oven, open the oven rather, when the bread is baked and you see exactly how much the bread has sprung up as it were what it looks like aesthetically is it pleasing and so on I use my mobile phone the timer on my phone to ensure consistency sometimes I'm waiting waiting like Godo waiting for the time to elapse to take the bread out to see exactly what I've baked this is the best part well maybe the second best part the best part is eating the bread so this is the olive and walnut sourdough loaf with a rye based sourdough rye flour sourdough and this is a very nice loaf of sourdough bread as you can see it looks the business as well it'll taste nice the other one is a bit ugly but like 
anybody who has children to love them all equally and I feel the same about the bread anyway I hope you find this video entertaining or helpful or inspiring or whatever give it a thumbs up down below if you want to see more bread baking videos on this channel it's not something I'm going to do too often but I might